So, in the first of the SAP FI consultant, as an FI consultant, first of all, we have to start up with the concept of the enterprise structure. So, in this enterprise structure, first what we have to do that, we need to move from the GOI to IMG by using the SPRO and SAP reference IMG and there enterprise structure from the enterprise structure we have to go for the definition and then financial accounting and in the financial accounting what we have to do that we need to create a company and whenever we want to create a company just go for the new entries and then here it's asking about of the company which you want to create and here the company name and the company identification can be the maximum of six all four numerical digits we can and as like that what is the company identification code which you want to give here so here i am giving my company identification code as an in code and even which i am giving here as a port motors and this port motors which has been located in the country of india and the language of pn and the currency of ina and just make it as a save and what is saying that the code has been already created here so that's why it was not accepting that i am creating another one is an appear so it also has been created and i am creating one more here as an cap la cipla just make it as an cipla groups and that this cipla groups just make it as an save and here create your own request and what it was so i am saying that it should be the cipla formers and create it and then come back come back again we have to go for the added company code added company code data and do you want to display the locker data no and double click on this one yes so one in one server if the multiple of the persons will be working like this what we have to do that there should be a some error will be shown that the data will be shown only in the display mode so and the situation what we have to do in the sense of you just use the transaction code of the sm12 see when we are going to the sm12 list see and the lock entry and the delete all that means if there any other persons which is working in the same server with the same screen if there is a lock it will be automatically opening and after that if you can try this it was automatically works see added company code data and then new entries and what is the company code which you want to create so which we have created the company as a group of the caplea and here i am giving the company name as a company code is a cap1 and which i am saying that it is a cipla formers cipla formers and it has been located in the hyderabad it was located in the hyderabad and it is a decimal of in and the currency of ana and the currency of ana and the language of yen and just make it as a c and after that it asking about of the country india See, see. After completion of the creation of the company code, just come back here. And now we have done with the company and as well as the company code. That means we have created the company and the company code. And after completion of the company and the company code, next we have to go for any consolidation business areas and as well as the business areas. For that, I am going to first of all the business area here. Define the business area. and then select new entries so in this business area i am mentioning as a capa which i am saying that hyderabad and a capb which i am saying that vizag and the capc which i am taking as a chennai and as well as capd which i am going for the coimbatore and as well as cape which i am saying that it is a bangalore and a cape f E F my so as like that which I have created these of my consolidation my business areas which I am having in the company code of Cipla Formers and even in this Cipla Formers I am having the different types of the consolidations here 
and then go for new entries. Here I am proposing the CAP1 and which I am taking as here as an A, Andhra Pradesh. And the CAP2, which I am saying that, uh, Tamil Nadu. And even I am taking the another one, CAP3, which I am calling as an A, Karnataka. And then save it. And after completion of the customization of the enterprise structure, defining of these things, what we have to do that, we need to make an assignment of these things. And the assignment for the financial accounting, assign company for the company. Others, others, we can use the transaction code of the OAX16 also here. So, when we are going to the OAX16, just go for the position. And the position but and when we are going to the position button, it is asking that what is the company code which you want to create or which you have already created. And I want to use the company code which I have created that, that was an a CAP1. And what I am going to say that, this CAP1 company has been, that means the company code has to be, or has been, comes under on the group of the company of CIPLA. And then save. So at the completion of this one, we have to go for the assign business area to consolidation business area. And here, select the position button. And what would be the business area? Hyderabad. The Hyderabad has to be comes into the CAB1, Andhra Pradesh. And even the Vaisak is also comes under the Andhra Pradesh. And even the Chennai has to be comes under the Tamil Nadu. It has to be comes under the Tamil Nadu. And the Bangalore has to be comes into the Karnataka. And the Mysore has to be comes into the Karnataka. And save it. So, this is what we can call it as an A, Enterprise Structure in SAP FI. So, after completion of this Enterprise Structure, we are going to the next concept which we can call it as an A, Financial Accounting Global Settings. So, and thus Financial Accounting Global Settings, initially we are having the one of the main and important uh, setting which we can call it as an A, Fiscal Year Variant. So, what is a Fiscal Year Variant in terms of it is nothing but a conversion of a calendar year into the required financial year. That means each and every country is having their own financial years like in India which we are having the financial year which we can take as an example of the India it was in April to March. Like if we can go for the years it was in January to December. If we can go for the Australia that will be different. If we can go for the other country that will be different. Like that. But the SAP system is not meant for one country itself. That's why what they have done that. They have done all the common thing which have been used in all the countries as called as an A calendar year. The calendar year is in January to December. And here also SAP people has been already maintained the calendar year into the SAP system. But as an SAP FI consultant, we need to convert the calendar into the financial year. So for that, what we have to do in the sense of from here, this PR go, IMG, financial accounting. Financial Accounting Global Settings and then Fiscal Year, Mind and Fiscal Year Variant and for creation of this Fiscal Year Variant, first of all, New Entries. What is the variant which you want to maintain? Your wish, you can take anything. Just like as I am maintaining as a CP and what it is, actually I am saying that it is an April to March and it was an Indian Financial Year and it contains the 12 posting periods and 4 special periods or and save it and after saving of this variant select this and double click on the periods under that variant what is the periods which you are having and under that variant I am having the month of the 4 and it contains the 30 days and it is a period of 1 and year is 2 is 0 and then 5 31 2 0 and the 6 30 3 0 3, 3 and 8. 3, 0. And as well as 7, 31, 4, 0. And 8, 31, 5, 0. 9, 30, 6, 0. 10, 31, 7, 0. 11, 30, 8, 0. 12, 31, 9, 0. After that one, Jan. 31, 10, it has to be year shift should be there, that's why it's in the minus 1 and 2, 28, 11, minus 1. And then 3, 31, 
12 minus 1. B 12, 31 minus 1. Minus 1. And after completion of this, save it. Save it, save it, save it. And then what we have to do that? We need to assign this fiscal year variant to our company code. Now, whatever we have created one fiscal year variant, and we need to assign that fiscal year variant to our company code. So, for assigning of that fiscal year variant to our company code, see, assign, select position button, company code, company code, and the company code is in a CAP1, or CAP1, and what we want, see, the fiscal year value. The fiscal year variant it should be the CP. That means which we have created created one fiscal year variant, and after that that fiscal year variant has been assigned to for our company code. That means the system will automatically recognizes that this fiscal this company code has been working with this financial year of the CP and save it and come back. And now we have created the fiscal year variant and we have assigned. And after that. Under this financial year, whatever the periods will be there, those of the periods has to be open and close on which year? That means the first period of the April, when it has to be start, and the last period of the 12th, May, when it has to be closed. Like those of the things which we have to set up. For that purpose, we have to go for we have to use the posting period variant. So, what is the purpose of the posting period variant? It is a variant which is used to maintain the periods. On which year there has to be open and which year there has to be closed. So, for that, we need to go for the posting period variant by using the document, posting periods, and then define variants for posting periods. Here we need to create the one variant with the posting period, that means which I am creating as a CIPP, and which I am saying that it is a posting period variant for CAP1 and just save it and after saving of this one next I have to open and close that means open and close the posting periods and then select new entries and here CAPP and this CAPP the variant which has to be useful or which has to be used for all types of the accounts that means not especially for the customers, not especially for the customers, not especially for the vendors, not especially for the GMs. It has to be works for all types of accounts and it has to be start in the e period of 1 in the year of 2015 and the period of closing on 2012 uh, and it was in 2016 and the special period has to be start in 13 and it has to be in the 2015 and the 2 period of 16 it has to be closed in the 2016. And after completion of the everything, just make it as a save. That means we have created our posting period variant also. After that, we need to assign that variant to our company. Code. That means in the previous, which we have created one fiscal year variant, and, have, and we have assigned that to our company code. As like that, just now we have created the posting period variant, and after that, we are going to assign for our company code. Here, my company code is an A. CAP1 and the variant which we have created is in a CAPP and save. And one more global variable will be there in SAP FI which is called as a field status variant. So, what was the purpose of the field status variant? In the sense of it is a variant which is used to maintain the fields which are required and which are not required when posting of a transaction. That means when you are no. using, when you are using the general ledger when posting of a transaction. Which of the fields are required and which of the fields are not required. In the next global setting, so which we have done the two of the global settings, one is the fiscal year variant and one is the posting period variant. And the next we have to go for the field status variant. See, what is the field status variant in the sense of it is a variant which is used to maintain the fields which are required and which are not required when posting of a transaction. For that, we need to go for here is PRO, IMG, financial accounting, financial accounting global settings, document, line item, controls, and that define field status value. 
So in this defined field status variant, select the triple zero one. Why? Because the system itself already having the one of the field status variant which is already there with the name of the triple zero one, and select that and copy it. When we are copying it, what is the source is there? Triple zero one, and where it has to be? The destination, the destination which I am proposing here as a name. The destination which I am proposing here as a name. C P F B. And which I am saying that field status variant for CAP1. Press enter. Then it asks me that what do you want? I want to copy all those things which is comes from the SAP2 here. To define the SAP2 something. It will be to my CPFP. And then everything has been copied. After copying of all those things, save it and come back. Now my circuit was created, and after that it has to be assigned for our Company code. Select the position button, and what would be the company code? The company code is going to be CAP1, and the field status variable which we are creating is CPFP, and set. So, after completion of these of the global settings, so here we are having the three global settings. One is the first clear variant, and second one is the post clear variant, and third one is the field status variant. And after completion of the, these three variants, next we have to go for the lectures. That means GL thing. And this GL accounts, which we are having the SPRO, IMG, financial accounting, and general ledger accounting, and then GL accounts, master data, preparations, added chart of accounts list. So, what is the chart of accounts in the sense of the chart of accounts is nothing but like the group of the accounts which we are having in this particular company code. So. See here, it is also the display lock data has been came there. That's why I am making the lock opening by using multiple of clicking on this one. New entries. What is the chart of accounts which you want to create? So I want to create the chart of accounts with the name of CPCA, which I have signed the chart of accounts for company code of CIP one, and the language which I am using English, and the length of the chart of the register number will be there, which I am giving as an F five, but the maximum of 10 we can use maximum of 10 we can use, but here I am using only the six or five, and then save. It. So after completion of this one, or after completion of this one, come back here, come back, and this has to be assigned for our company code, and go for the position button. Then it asks me about the company code. The company code itself is in the CAP one, and this company code, the chart of accounts which I am having the CPCA, and save. And add that account groups. So what we have to maintain is a define account groups. So and this define account groups. What I have to do that? What are the account the books which I am in required? So in the chart of accounts of the CPCA, I am required the account group of the one as I am saying that liabilities. Say for example of liabilities. The liabilities which I can which I am in required the one to forty nine. And even for the same chart of accounts, I am in required assets. So here in the assets, which I am required from the 50 to 99, and even in the same chart of accounts, which I am in required the um, something around the capitals, where it was in the capitals, and it was from the 100 to 199 or 149, and after completion of the CPCE, and I am going to take it the other one. Expenses are the incomes. Incomes from here 152, 199, and even in this, take the expenses and the expenses 202 something 300, and then save it. So here I am in required these of the account groups which I am in required, and. After completion of these of the account group, we need to make a return of return entries. So, what is the purpose of the return entries? It is the return entries which is used to maintain that whatever the closing balance of the present year, it has to be carried forward to the next year of the balance sheet, which is coming with the help of this return entries. So, and this return entries, when we are entering on the return entries, first of all, it asks me about the chart of account. So, the chart of account which I am using the CPCA. And in this CDPCA, whatever the balance will be there, that means can we say that it is in a plus balance or a minus balance? Whatever it is, that has to be coming to 
the account of the balance sheet even if it is a so for example of 36 or something whatever and then save it so now we have done with the infrastructure to the financial accounting global settings and even the financial accounting general ledger settings so after completion of the general ledger settings also we have to go for the creation of a general ledger for creation of a general ledger instead of the master data financial accounting general data card to come the gl accounts master data gl account creation of resources and then edit gl accounts and after that edit gl accounts and then and even if we can get this screen like this we can change the screen also from here so see by using that we can change the screen here by using the option of enrollment settings hierarchy display display codes in navigation screen then automatically it will be comes into the our own navigation view see like this. so first of all we have to do that we have to create the ledger that's why we are using this window create i want to create the ledger number 1 and which has to be comes into the cap1 and it has to be comes into the assets no while it was the assets we have created from the 59 and even everybody is any libraries yes in the libraries i am in require the ledger number 1 and it has to be comes into the balance sheet and the text which i am proposing here for the short text of the liabilities which i am taking here as an a uh, say something about current liabilities current liabilities current liabilities and of this current liabilities i want to maintain the currency of the ena and even that currency you can have the, in this ledger we are having the transaction only in the local currency and it can have the open item line item and the sort key should be the the sorting key is in a posting that means we can make the sort for the fields of the, the transaction of the ledger in the ledger we can buy the by the posting date and even it is a posting key of which is the number and it was a general account and say it just change it what it was in the sense of the company what is the name CAP and the CAP one and having the libraries and as well as the calculator and we can copy this GL account of the one into the two and instead of the current liabilities I am making here it is a name secure loan the secure loans also has to be comes into the song secure loan and save it. And even we can copy it from 1 to 15. What is the 15 in terms of assets? And the assets which I am showing that cash in hand. Cash in hand. And save it. Cash in office. Cash out of And here with the same like as 52. Mm -hmm. I see I say current account. And say. As like as I want to make the capitals also. Something 100. Here are the capitals. Here we have the money. Here we have the money. Here we have the money. And we have the money. And we have the money. In the screen, huh? This one. Like this. No, no, no. Like this. Like this. Like this. this. one, no? Like this. 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 Like Like this. 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 Like
we can go for the settings okay. hierarchy display and we see in generally when you are seeing here when you are opening of this one even if it is like okay. this see if it is like this what we have to do that settings hierarchy display display accounts in navigation tree enter okay okay display navigation tree enter and come back now open it see that now it will be come right and ah from here i want to create another one which is called as a 150 